Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing a Golgari deck that's going to be playing out of your hand, out of the battlefield, and out of the graveyard. Are you ready for whatever it is we dig up out of the, its shallow graves? Stay tuned to find out! Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, known in the 1990s as Grandmaster McSucket, Dr. You Can't Suck It! Yes! Thank you! Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much! You can Suck It! Words to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on Magic GG's Platinum Mythic List, which is a deck of a uh, list of platinum, platinum Mythic decks that have been doing pretty good in the previous week. Now, this is from last Monday, so this was from like two weeks ago, but um, I thought this deck looked interesting. It was full of stuff that I haven't played in a long time, which is a good Golgari graveyardy reanimator type of deck, and I'm looking forward to seeing how well this works with new cards from the uh, March of the Machines kind of thing. I, I don't remember last time I played one of these cards. I like a Golgari reanimation deck. Uh, to me, it feels like it's been six months or more. So, uh, yeah, we'll play it now. I'd have to go back and actually look at the at the old at the old decks to see when's the last time I played Golgari Reanimator. <laughs> Sorry, I had a cluster of hiccups there for a second. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the cards that are in the deck real quick. And we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. What do we got here? We've got Creature Kill, Creature Kill. Oh, what is this? Return Creature Card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, surveil one and return a land card from your graveyard to your hand you know, to the battlefield tap. There we go. This guy is his power and toughness is equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. This guy, um, when he enters, causes you to mill and you return a land from your graveyard to your hand. Titania, Titania does a lot of stuff, but essentially you can make her into super Titania by uh, having this and... Uh, the Argoth land and four other lands in your graveyard, in which case then she's got Vigilance Reach, Trample, Haste, and then she takes every land out of your graveyard and puts it into play, and you can start putting four counters on a land, turning into an elemental creature that stays that way, and it's got haste, so it, it's pretty awesome. Ren and Realmbreaker, um, what does it do? Mills, so Mills you for three. So, because you want to throw things in your graveyard, and this will help you do it. Otherwise, you could turn a, take a target land, temporarily turn it into a 3-3 with Hexproof and Vigilance and Haste. Uh, Shouldred does what Shouldred does. Uh, people lose two life whenever they draw a card. You gain two life whenever you draw a card. Doomsguard's got backup, which will give one of your creatures trample and plus one, plus one. And whenever it deals common damage to a player or a battle... Then you can take a look at the top. At that many, what is it? The amount of combat damage. That many cards at the top of your library. Reveal creature land. And put it into your hand. Archpriest gives something death touch and a plus one plus one counter. And if it deals combat damage to a, a player or a battle, you can return a target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Excellent. She looks very anime there, doesn't she? Ren is seven, a good old standard who's still going to be with us for quite a long time. Uh, puts out uh, Tree Folk Bebes, whose power and toughness equal the number of lands you control. So if Rin, if Titania ends up putting out all the lands, this thing's going to be ginormous. Otherwise, it starts uh, ripping through your 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 library looking for lands and putting them into your hand. Otherwise, you can throw any number of lands from your hand into the into the battlefield tap for zero. Uh, what is it? this thing? Mills 10 cards because you want to mill stuff, right? And then you get to choose a creature planeswalker from each player's graveyard and you put it into the battlefield under your control. So yeah, this is all about milling stuff and then pulling stuff back out potentially. That's awesome. You don't really have anything that's super awesome. Really, shoulders about it. It's all about kind of milling and doing things. Nothing really gets big except for the Lurgoif. 
it's all just about milling and stuff. Eventually, Titania kind of spins off. Ren and Seven could do something awesome. You got a little bit of Death Touch action. Really grabbing other people's stuff is really going to be the end game, in my opinion. A lot of interesting lands here. Um, this one could put out bears or something. All right, that's it. Before we do, let's say our prayers. Dear Black King Talks, who lives within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers. Grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and hear the lamentation of the women. I'm right, playing with Nerd Monkey. Three mana, okay, keep. Ooh, could we be fast enough for this guy is the question. Throw this guy out. Come on. That's what I want. Alright, this guy's not so bad. You have to waste a lightning strike to kill him. Cool, I'll, I'll block one. The guy on the right. He's my mortal enemy. All right, let's bring this swamp back. No, we're cool. We'll chill out. We're like a bunch of little Fonzies sitting at a table. Cause what are what are Fonzies? They're cool. And we're all cool here at the table here, honey bunny. He's going to want to get rid of all of them, huh? No, you had no tricks there. Amazing. All right, we can send one in. Let's send that guy in. Your cat is embarrassed for you. Can you do for me that's not anything that we're currently doing let's do this uh you're looking pretty good lurg you're willing to trade all right How are we doing there? Three, four. Urgos power equals number battlefield mill cards. Two times for each time it's kicked. I'm gonna go for the throat. Go pick back something awesome. This is blue. We don't have blue. Let's just do a little black. Uh, yeah, we could do the black, right? Six, seven, baby. Nice. Uh, we can mill some more. What am I doing here? Surveilling? Don't really care. I don't. Uh, let's see. Let's pick this guy. Yeah, he's good. And uh, I don't know. This guy, sure. More pain land. That's what I need. That logo is looking pretty swole. Look at that. Seven. If I was if I was nerd monkey, I'd be peeing my pants right now. He's got it. I'm only he's got me down to seventy. Yeah, there you go. See, I was just telling you, I'd be peeing my pants. It's really hard to hold up against this point. Victory! 
I are playing against Demo. Bum 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 bum. Crack that whip. One, two, three. Keep it. That's mine. Do not eat that. Was my crystal. I was going to eat it. All right, let's go do some wayfinding. Stupid bear. No wonder you're so fat. Oh, oh, we got to kill some stuff, huh? This guy's a killer, I can tell. Uh, yeah, we should definitely just play this. We can afford the slow roll at this point. I'm gonna go for black. We need two blacks to be able to play the uh, Breach the Multiverse. Yep. So I just want to put out Realm Breaker and have you be all stupid about it. Realm Breaker. Oh, I can't do that one. All right, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and start milling. Okay, I'm bringing back Shouldred to my hand. Welcome back, Shouldred. I know you thought it was a dangerous place to be in the graveyard, but you're back. Are we playing the same deck? See ya. Can't play that. Can't play that. Looks like it's Titania. What can I do? I can, can I really get rid of something? I don't have enough mana for it. I don't know why he thinks I can. No, I can't play it. That's still an enchantment, right? Yeah, I can kill it still. I mean, I don't really care that much. Go get yourself another land. I know you want it. Killing off Rin. It's so hard for me, but I'll do what I have to do. He's a betrayer. Yeah, I think we're playing a mirror match here, essentially. Uh, I have cut downs. I don't think I have. I don't have the, the discard aspect of it. Oh, I think I know where he got that Phyrexian Obliterator from. Alright, that's super cool, whatever that is. Whack! Well, that was a big weird thing. What are you doing now? Uh, do not to use the battlefield? With four plus one player on target, it becomes a zero zero element with haste. It's still a land. All right, let's put it on that guy. So I don't want to take lose ten things to this thing. I would take and kill. No attacks. Yeah, good for you.
Somebody's scared to do anything. Well, like me, I suppose. All right, what do I want? Lord Gorgon's a 910. He doesn't have trample, though. What about this guy? Um, no trample. That's what's always bad about that. You guys suck. Alright, so we got enough for a super kill next turn. Thing is, is that I need trample on him to really get it where I need to go. So maybe I just need to pop him again? What do I need? Negative three? That sucks. If I was him, I'd have to send the Phyrexian after, but that means the Phyrexian is not being blocked. Okay, not another one of those. Oh, we are not looking good. Fishing it back. No, no, no. Tramp. Trample. There we go. All right. In we go. I still don't think we're going to kill him. We're just going to do something incredibly weird about the whole situation. We might probably lose five, would be my guess. And I could probably just throw away the lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I counted twice now. Oh, next. Sorry. I'm doing math, people. I'm not going to do doing 11. Do I really care about that guy? Maybe. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Who did I lose here? Another Titania? No! Oh, good. Oh, he just wiped everything. What a bitch. I don't have two blacks? You're kidding me, right? Sweet googly moogly people. All right, we're just gonna have to make him lose two life for a while.
What's this guy down to? 12? I'm down to 10. That's not good. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. You just go ahead and put a dude out. No tax. Everything's cool. No tax. I'm at 9. He's at 11. I'm going to probably zook out before him. That's not good. How do I mill this guy? That's what I got to do. Not me. Like you're going to charge at me. Uh, yeah. Nothing to select here. Well, you're getting weaker as we go, aren't you? Can I run in seven this? Let's see what's going to happen here. Cancel. Is that everything? Tree folk's not going to be doing anything good. Okay, so I got a trample on a 15. And I got two more, which means I'd get two more through 10, put on a 12. Or am I at eight? Let's just go for it. No math! Fighting the trampler is a bad idea, dude. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we're good. I win! There we go. Well, that was slow and painful. Not used to playing that too much. Victory! Alright, playing against Path 84. That's a weird name, Path. Why would you select that one? One, two, three, four. Alright, that's good. I get to keep all seven this time. This is a deck I'm not going to play with two. And I've been dealt two, like, a lot. Seems like I'm always getting screwed on black. I'm going to pick black in this case. Okay, I can wait on the herb org for a little while. It's not good till we start milling stuff a lot. Yeah, like, whatever, man. Start the milling.
Yeah, let's just leave stuff in the graveyard. Alright, that's a nice lineup. Well, hopefully, uh, Shouldred can stay where she be where she belongs, which is out in the battlefield. We can murder some little people. Is that just four? That's target player. Alright, that's what happens one to one. I am tapped though. Don't worry, I will murder you. All right, Lurgoyf, want to pay the extra? Uh, sure, do I have the ability to do that? I guess. All right, Shouldred's done a good job. Yeah, there we go. That's what you look like when you get despaired about Shouldred. Victory. All right, playing against J. Rombo. Four mana, all right. Let's keep it. I think we're going to need the greens. So let's put that out. All right, Titania, Titania, Titan, Titania. And in for two. I got nothing going on there. Really, this guy again? Sure. Really, he's just about milling in this deck. You put him out, freaks people out. Yeah, Titanium needs that going on. What do I got out here? Anything good? Hmm. Roller's awesome. Sure, let's land up. That always looks good. That's all I got in my graveyard? Boy, I've been using it a lot. See you later, Titania.
All right, shoulder it up. And let's go ahead and make ourselves an ornamental. All attack. Down to eight. Graveyard. What I got in there? That's all, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, you'd want to kill her a little earlier. Apparently you just drew that. You're taking the two, my friend. Still, I'm only coming in with five this turn. I can't do anything else about it. Or I can't, can't I? No! I pushed the wrong stupid button. Oh, I hate that when I do that. Whatever, there we go. I could have done two of them and they had gone in for the kill. I mean, he might have something in the hand to help kill, but... Attack, 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 attack. Yes, I could have killed him. There we go. That's got some meat on it. And we win! Boom, boom! Goes the room in our opponent's head. I am playing against Gwyn... 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 Keep... Alright, we'll play the slow. And he's eating my crystal! Jerk bear. I was gonna eat it. Alright, three, four, five. Got two blacks. We don't have two. Oh, well, we have greens. Yeah, we're good. Alright, it's going for the attack. He's not going to block. He's going to start forcing a discard. I don't need yet another voice of Gaia. Jesus, people. I like a land, is what I would like. I tell you, we're going to get rid of... Death Touch was really good. Let's get rid of this. I don't have anything to make Titania work, so it's just... There we go. Alright, so if he blocks with everything, he killed Titania. He's not going to do it, apparently. Uh, library. Do we want to put things in for... Yeah, let's take it. Dude, you're playing mono black. I guess you're playing mono black discard, right? So why aren't you playing creature kill? Because you should be killing some of my creatures right now. You got more than enough mana for it. You need one more if you're going to do an invoke despair. All right, so he's able to do three. Let's just pop this guy all in. All right, quick math check. That is 10 points. Yeah, you just got a chomp, chumpy chomperston. Looks like you got two guys that can't block. Down to five, and I get to pull some dudes back. Number one. Uh, no. Sure. Ah, is it three? 
He's got to wipe the board, otherwise we have wiped the board of him. Yeah, whatever, man. Get out of my way. I'm trying to touch the Lurgoid. Don't cover him up and pretend like that little wuss wasn't over there. And we win. Suck it, Gwynolin. Yeah, totally fun. Victory. All right, so here we are playing with uh, the premium mythic Golgari Reanimator. Uh, it was a good deck. It was a really good deck. A lot of times I play things off the, the Platinum Mythic list, and I don't get it. I don't know how they are Platinum or Mythic level. This deck did a good job on itself. You know, it was I was disappointed in the deck to a certain degree. It didn't feel like it was a, a good deck. Like, there was no, like, super power play to it or anything like that. I guess that's what you expect it from something that's in the, the premium, the Platinum Mythic list. Like some sort of, I you know, I expect there to be something. Like like Boros Nuke, you know? I expect it to be like a power, like something going on. Um, this is just a good, consistent deck. You put out guys that are in the, you know, the, the three, four power range, and you just consistently ram those guys in. Ren and Seven, of course, can put out some terribly good guys. Your ability to get a ton of um, lands out at some point. I don't even know how that was happening. It was like something would happen. Maybe it was Titania or something would bring all the stuff from the graveyard back into the battlefield. Yeah, when when Titania enters the battlefield, return all land cards from your graveyard to battlefield tapped. Yeah, I managed to get her popped off. That was amazing. And then I had tons of it, which is good because I had the obliterator on my butt. And when I needed to sacrifice things, I had lands to give up. I didn't need them all. This thing doesn't go, I got a seven here, but most of the stuff's only five. As long as I had four or five mana, I was perfectly happy with pretty much anything. And this thing generates enough mana. It wasn't necessary. All right, so let's see. what Who was the hero of this deck? Let's look. I, you know, right off the bat, I've got to think it was Ren and Realmbreaker. Um, Ren and Realmbreaker was the MVP. The person I was always looking for, though, was Shouldred. So, like, the deal was is that Ren and Realmbreaker, what was great about that is because it would start the mill process. And you could throw three of your cards into your into your graveyard. It was the biggest chunk of milling you're kind of doing. And it wasn't impossible. Like, sometimes you over mill, and that's really bad. But Ren and Realmbreaker helps you get the mill started, which is what this deck needs, is which is cards in your graveyard. Um, because, what was it, um... Titania required there to be four lands in your graveyard, and the Lurgoyf needs you to have creatures in your graveyard. Um, yeah, you needed all that going on. The other person I really liked, I liked the Archpriest of the Shadows just because she had Death Touch and was able to give Death that out temporarily. I like the fact that Doomscar is able to pass out um, Trample, because that's the problem with Ren and Seven's Tree Folk, is that you can get them pumped, but all they could be chumped, and chumping is horrible you can't get your superpower through so luckily you can uh do a little backup action there put it on one of the tree folk and then it can be just a trample monster machine which would win you the game so yeah really 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 good synergy here a lot of plays from with cards in graveyard um all together it was a great deck that way so yeah mvp was ren and realm breaker Number one, was this deck competitive? I have a 75% win rate. I got it off of Platinum Mythic list. So yes, this is, by definition, a competitive deck. Number two, was this deck fun? Um, you know, for me, I, I'm going to say no. It was not a fun deck. But that's I, can, I know it was just me. The reason why is, like I said before, there was nothing super powerful about it. It was a consistent deck. It had great plays. It won the game a lot. But I'm not one for... Like, winning doesn't make a deck I find fun playing. It's along the way, I want the deck to put up a good fight. And this deck was consistent. It was good. And it constantly did what it needed to do. Yet, I was a little bored with the gameplay. So, it wasn't what I would call a fun deck. It was just a good deck. It was a good deck, you know. So if you are looking for something that's, if you that's a winner, yeah, this is a great deck. This is a great deck, and you'll have fun with it. Um, but if you're looking for something where you're gonna have fun playing, 
and you're not, you know, and you're the kind of person that likes playing things from the graveyard. Um, yeah, this might be a fun deck for you. I just, it wasn't for me. That's all. Number two, was this deck interesting? Yes. Yeah, it was because I don't normally play reanimator decks. Um, ever since Boros reanimation came out, I'm getting kind of bored of Boros reanimation. Golgaria reanimation is cool, but kind of want it to be better than this deck makes it out to be. Um, it was definitely useful. It was definitely interesting. And I liked playing something I hadn't played before. It was cool playing with Ren and Realmbreaker when that... Because, like, Ren and Realmbreaker, to me, is all just about putting out 3-3 three, three land attackers. And, like, I don't normally like to mill myself or play things from the graveyard. That, that sounds boring and stupid. But this deck, 100%, Ren and Realmbreaker is ready to go. Um, we haven't played Ren and Seven in a long time just because it's from, whatever it is, Midnight Hunt. That was so long ago. Thing is, is, we got a long ways to go. We still got over like a year and, I don't know, three months, four months, something like that, until Ren and Seven is out of standard. So Ren and Seven was the bee's knees and everything that was playing green a while back ago. It still could be a great card. We just got a lot of other choices right now. Yeah, so anyways, this is an interesting deck. I appreciated it. I liked it. Um, I thought it was good. So let's count it all up. Was this deck competitive? Yes. Was it fun? Not really was it interesting totally so i'm going to give this deck a straight a i for some people it's going to be an a plus just for me i found it to be a little boring but well boring implies it wasn't interesting but it was interesting and i think i could play this deck more and learn to really like it but eh, it's just it didn't float my boat you know what i mean all right so straight a deck if you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have as much fun with it, or more fun with it, than I did. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes.